Welcome back to part 20 of this series where we're building a quiz application using AngularJS. And in this video, we're going to build out the markup for the results page using Bootstrap. So now I'll head into the browser and this is the results page, the finished results page that we're going to create the markup for in the next couple of videos. So it's obviously the markup is very similar to that of the quiz controller markup, except for we're styling each of these buttons slightly differently. Instead of styling for answered and unanswered, we're now styling for correct and incorrect using some different coloring and different glyph icons. And in the questions area, we're styling incorrect answers and correct answers with a different background. We've added this go back to facts button instead of the continue button. Okay, so we'll come into our code here and we'll hop into the results controller. So we want to loop through the questions again like we did in the quiz controller. So we're going to need access to those questions. So we need to inject in our data service. So we'll inject in the data service here. And we'll attach that to the view. Like that. And come into our HTML. And I'll just speed through this HTML because it's very similar to that inside the quiz controller. So it's a row. Then we want to ng repeat this button for every question. We'll say question in results. We're in the results controller. Data service dot quiz questions. And then we also want to give it an ng class. And we want to give it a success class, which in Bootstrap is button success, which gives it that nice green color. And then we want to color it like that if this question has been answered correctly. So if we look in our quiz metrics service, we have this mark quiz function. So just to jog our memory, we quickly loop through all of the questions in the quiz. And then we compare the answer that the user selected for that particular question against the correct answer. And if it is correct, we set a correct flag on that particular question to true. And if it's not correct, we set it to false. So we can now use that correct flag in our HTML. So we can reference that by using question, because remember we're inside our ng repeat, which is referencing the quiz questions object on our data service. And each of those has a correct flag. So we can say question.correct. Then we also want to style for incorrect answers, which is button danger. And we just want to do the opposite when not question dot correct. So when the user hasn't answered the question correctly. And then we'll also give it an ng click and we'll trigger a function here, just like we did on our quiz controller. When the user clicks one of these buttons, we want to be taken to the corresponding question. So we'll create a function on our results controller called set active question. And this will be pretty similar to the set active question on our quiz controller. And remember, we passed in dollar sign index, which just passes in the current index of the question that they clicked on. So we'll save that. And now we'll move down and create the legend area. And then a span. Which we'll give the class of glyph icon and glyph icon OK is the icon that we want, glyph icon OK. And we'll just give ourselves a bit more space. And below here, we'll say correct. And now we want to create the incorrect area of the legend. So again, it's a button class of button and button danger and a span class 
with glyph icon and glyph icon remove and add incorrect down here. So now if we head into our work in progress app here, we'll start the quiz and we'll just quickly speed through it. And there we go. We've got the colorings correctly, but there's some bug in the code for the icons. We'll take a look at why that is now. But it's done everything else correctly, and it's styling it red or green, depending on if the question was right or wrong, which is good. So what is wrong with our... Of course, we haven't actually added the span yet, so that might be why. So we'll add the span, and we'll add a class of glyph icon. And we'll give it an ng class. And we'll say the correct, when the answer is correct, we want to give it the class of glyph icon OK. And we'll just reference that same question dot correct. And when it's incorrect, we want to give it glyph icon remove. And that's when not question dot correct. And we'll save that and come back into the browser. And we'll speed through the answers again. Yes, we're sure. And there we go. We have the correct coloring and the correct icon, depending if the answer is correct or incorrect. And our legend's looking good. So in the next video, we're going to tackle creating the question area and styling that correctly. For those of you that haven't checked out my website yet, I do a full article write-up for every single video that I put out on YouTube and that will include code snippets and other little things that will help you along. The link to the write-up for the current video is on the bottom left of the screen. And if you just want to continue watching this video series then just click the link in the center of the screen and we'll get started with the next video.